Moldova, despite its uh, small size, has actually sent firemen to help out the Greek firemen combating of uh, the wildfires. Since January 2022, Republic of Moldova began to be a full member of the EU civil protection mechanism. And uh, with that, the Republic of Moldova and the fighters of Republic of Moldova say yes to participate and thank you for the, the civil protection mechanism to accept the Republic of Moldova to be part of this mission in Greece uh, in order to show our support for those who are in need. So how far away do you think that Moldova is from joining the EU family? Uh, we are not so far. If everything will uh, go how it's planned, uh, in 2030 we have, we must to, to join or we will have the chance to, to join the EU because this is our dream and this is the willing of our citizens. Uh, we work very hard on it. How does the Ukrainian war with Russia affect you in your effort to join uh, the EU? I think um, it doesn't affect even more, it buster mm -hmm. our uh, close or the, the process uh, to be close to the EU integration. And thank you for the, the Greece government and for Greece uh, people supporting our path to EU integration. In uh, our way to accession, the economy takes the main part of our efforts, mm -hmm. but at the same time, the security and public order must to go hand in hand with uh, the economy development. How far have you actually gone into fighting the organized crime? First of all, uh, we have a very detailed uh, strategy to develop our border police. Mm -hmm. integrated management border police program. Uh, the police also has their plans of uh, our national interinstitutional activities, but also we have a very good uh, change of information with our partners, Interpol, Europol. Mm -hmm. We have uh, colleagues from Frontex working shoulder by shoulder with our uh, uh, border uh, police and uh, the, the change of information and the change of experience, best practices, will uh, uh, increase our capacity to fight with organized crime. Russia is somehow trying to affect Moldova, uh, bearing in mind that uh, you have some really close ties dating back to the Soviet Union. Going back in 2022, uh, the intention of Russian Federation was to come or to invade military and mm -hmm. to come on the ground uh, on the territory of Republic of Moldova. And we are now under the big hybrid threats which we can face day by day in, back in, in Moldova regarding the illegal financing of uh, criminal groups, trying to divide the pool of voters and to buy the, the voters day by day. We can see that this hybrid war is increasing uh, because in this uh, autumn we have the presidential elections mm -hmm. and uh, we expect some uh, increase of these destabilization uh, processes which will come through the Russian instruments in, in the Republic of Moldova. This year was the historical year in the energy sector because we became independent of Russian uh, energy sector mm -hmm. and uh, I know uh, Greece supported very much the Republic of Moldova and uh, we uh, got more than 25% of gas which we used this, uh, uh, this winter. Prime Minister Mitsotakis will actually be visiting the capital of uh, Moldova. First of all, it will be the historical visit and the first visit of mm -hmm. the Prime Minister of Greece in the Republic of Moldova. And uh, I think uh, the main topic will be the support of Greece uh, to the Republic of Moldova to EU accession. This year was the year of inauguration of the first embassy, Greece mm -hmm. embassy in Chisinau, which makes the, um, the cooperation to, to go very smooth. What does your country do on combating uh, illegal immigration? Uh, migration is something which we cannot stop, but we can control. So our efforts now are oriented to have a very controlled migration uh, to our country or through our country. Is it you learning from the Greek counterparts or do you actually share and exchange views on how to actually fight climate crisis 
uh, that has detrimental effects like the wildfires. Uh, indeed, we had a very warm and very, uh, very friendly meeting with uh, Minister Kikilias. I was uh, surprised and uh, great uh, surprise that uh, the minister itself is involved in the making decision process mm -hmm. and uh, we share our uh, common views.